Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary, playing mid lane Vex, I think, versus uh, Talon this game, even though they are not in order. Uh, Vex has recently seen that hotfix. Um, they nerfed the Q damage by like 20, and then they nerfed the passive damage uh, at, I think, level 18 is when it's maxed by 40. So 60 damage nerf overall. Uh, opinions of this champion... Um, I think she really sucks, to be honest, and I think that we might even see a buff, possibly, because if anything, she'll maybe be strong for, like, lower elos, but there is no way I could say that this champion is strong inside of the higher elos, um, because it feels like she's more of a pub stomper, and yeah, maybe if you pop off versus people who will get easily punished by your easily dodgeable abilities... Uh, you can do stuff, but otherwise, you have extremely low presence, and, like, you're so reliant on your teammates to the point that, like, why play this champion over other champions in the highest of tiers? So, if we see her get buffed, maybe we can, um, see a little bit different stuff, but, yeah. Um, it's, it's pretty easy to play around her play, uh, you, you really could just farm out as any champion, and uh, you'll be fine. So. Darn, was trying to go for him when he went for that creep, but he didn't even uh, go for it. Can we even land this one? Oh, okay, nice. Going Comet and Scorch for the early game pressure, since this champion, it takes a little bit for her to ramp up, so this just makes the early game a little bit easier, and people in EU West are doing it and making it uh, kind of succeed, so I figure, why not do the same thing here? Maybe we can zone this guy from the wave a little bit. If he wants to step up for the creep, he can, otherwise he has to use his W here. Just don't want to get hit by the Talon 3 hit passive. By the way, this isn't Challenger. I don't know what it is. Maybe Master Tier. Maybe like a mix of like GM and uh... I haven't played on this account in such a long time, but... Last time I played on this account, I checked who I was versus and the person was 600 LP, so like... Hmm, that was such a weird positioning from him. I thought I was getting ganked for a second. I don't know why I did that there. That's okay, though. You don't want to jump on me? <laughs> I have my fear ready. <laughs> Guess he doesn't want to go. We have one more crafting potion left. We're, we're in a pretty good spot here. Ooh, you actually hit me with that. That's okay, though. Okay. I understand that Fiddlesticks is uh, a round mid, but... Am I really gankable? I would say no. Okay, we have a 10 CS lead from uh, punishing this guy, so... Already seeming pretty good. Ooh, he stayed. Okay, we'll just auto these creeps. Hey, fiddlesticks. Found you. Ooh, you might have dodged my ability, but the thing is you lost a cannon for it. Ooh, nice. Another good hit. Uh, I might be able to kill this guy if he stays, but the chances of him staying are just, like, so slim. I'm trying to shove in so at least he misses creeps, if anything. Okay, yeah. He is so uncomfortable with the lane that he's just gonna back. Uh, we're ranged at the end of the day, so we're just trying to punish him with a lot of auto attacks and weaving in our abilities. If he ever jumped on us, we could have always feared him and whatever, so... Uh, of course this champion will be able to punish melees. Uh, just like if I if I play Zoe, Oriana, Syndra, it, LeBlanc, I'm gonna be punishing Talon early. 
Talon's not going to be good at 1v1-ing uh, a lot of those champions and should not be winning. So, obviously, we get a pretty big lead, even if I, I said that she was weak earlier, because at the end of the day, um, what matters a lot is not really... Inside of range versus melee, it's not always just about, like, uh, how strong your champion is, but how you play it, and, uh, in terms of, like, positioning yourself against the enemy and stuff. We didn't get a kill or anything, though, so it's kind of unfortunate. I wish that he, like, stayed and then we could have feared him. That would have been pretty sick. Okay, everybody seems kind of healthy. Is my T bound? Oh, it is. Okay. Ooh, are you gonna miss this cannon? You are. That's unfortunate. He really does not want to get hit by a single ability, huh? Oh, I'm gonna maybe take a tower shot? Okay, because I had the corrupting potion stack on him there, so didn't want to possibly get hit. Now that he's six, maybe he has the potential to fight me, possibly. Okay, use the shield. He jumped over the wall, so that wall is no longer usable for a little bit. Wow, I do not deal any damage to those creeps. Ooh, you wanted to run away that badly, huh? Let's just take that away from you. Okay, can I realistically kill him on seven? Hmm, seems hard. I do have Ignite, though. I would say if I landed one more Q on him, very easy. Can definitely kill, but... And I'm talking about, like, the ulti combo. Just immediately ult and go. Fiddlesticks must be six by now as well. Like, am I not gonna get ganked for playing so aggressive? It's so difficult to actually get on people who are so far away. Um, I guess Graves is like waiting to see if like, I don't know, Fiddlesticks appears or something. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, if that landed, we would have been able to go because I had my fear ready and then Graves can follow it up with his uh, ultimate. Pretty unfortunate. Good poke on that guy. Don't have my ulti available. The thing is, I have uh, these potions that I can pop immediately to get a bunch of mana back. So I might be able to like just use my mana here and then maybe go thinking that he thinks that I don't have anything left. Fiddle six one five. Ooh, I'm dead still. It just wasn't enough to use my Q. I, I could use WE, and I did do it the way that I wanted, but I just don't have enough mana, unfortunately. And then he just did a shit ton of damage over time with his bleed plus ignite, did over 300 damage there, so. That's fine, though. At least we got a kill. I can maybe go for platings, too. Did Fiddle 6 use R? I did not look. All I saw that he was just there, but I didn't see if he actually used his ability. I guess we're not going to know. Players don't want to tell us. Hmm. For real, man. Ganking me. Alright, we need to immediately rotate to that. Don't have fear available, so it's a pretty uncomfortable position for me. I'm just gonna walk around this way. I don't wanna like phase check a talent when I don't have fear. I'm just gonna basically die. I was afraid of this bush.
A little bit of poke. Have to be careful about his roam here. Ooh, that actually hurt kind of bad. Well, we got that fiddle six old, so I, I guess he just didn't realize that I, I could see him that entire time. Man, if I had ignite, I think I could confidently kill this guy once again if I had ult, but... Also, I think this might grant true sight. Because I've seen multiple times where I, like, hit somebody with it, and I swear I'm not supposed to be seeing them, and I do, so... It might be something that to look at next time I do ulti him. The Fiddlestix has no ulti, so honestly there's not really much that they can do here. Big damage. Alright, right there we landed the fear and then EQ'd when he'd committed for that guy, so... But that's okay. Yeah, the Fiddlesticks was like way out in the middle of nowhere. And he has no ulti, so I figured might as well just use it on him. Just going to use it for damage here because it's just going to time out. There's no reason not to. Back off. Solid two kills there. We're, we're getting pretty damn fed, especially with our CS lead. Like... We are extremely strong in terms of CS, that's for sure. Basically, like what I was explaining earlier for like terms of like strengths of X, I know that like I'm probably dealing a lot of damage and stuff, but I, it's similar to like why people don't play Xerath and Brand and stuff. Yeah, they can win. Uh, I'm not saying that they can't. I'm just saying. It's, your champion isn't strong enough to the point that there's no reason to play her over a different champion inside of the highest tiers. That's all. Of course I can still win games with this champion and do a lot. It's just extremely difficult to win with her unless certain circumstances are met. Oh, I'm getting ganked, aren't I? What?! How did that even... Did I kill him? Did that Q? I have Landry's. Really? I didn't think I was going to get feared there because he ulted over the wall and you're not supposed to get feared unless, like, you when you see him, but I guess that works that way. Damn, I would have flashed earlier if I knew that. I had no idea I would get feared there. That's unfortunate. Nothing is really up. Honestly, I just would rather just play with Graves no matter what. Just go wherever he goes if he wants to invade. Or maybe we can look for like a bot dive or something with my ult. Deals pretty decent damage right now because I am a little fed. So I have uh, more AP than you're supposed to at this point. Okay, bot lane is resetting, so definitely not going to be doing anything down there. Is Talon going to roam top here if this Graves continues fighting? I hope not. Like, where is this Talon? We have mid tower. I guess we're just getting good pressure top. We see where Fiddlesticks is also, so I'm not really too afraid of Talon at this point. Okay, nice top kill possibly. I'm coming. 
Ooh. Okay. Just she just feasted that guy with a Cho'Gath Q. Pretty, pretty good job. I'm gonna just go for the like pure damage build. It honestly kind of feels the best on Vex. It feels like you're kind of a burst mage. Like you just go and try to deal a bunch of damage, then either you pop off or you die. So honestly, Cosmic Drive hasn't felt the best on her recently because of that. Just feels like I'm just supposed to be trying to one-shot people, despite not really having good ratios as well. Okay. Pull someone? No. It's fake. If Ezreal face checks me, I'm pretty sure I have one tap him. You're not gonna face check, are you? Too smart. Dragon's coming up, so that's what we should play for next. Hmm. I'm not going to walk up into this brush because I... Well, we got three of them. I was just a cleanup crew at the very end. I'm pretty sure there's no realistic way to get a double fear off there, like to get the Vola Bear off of me. Like, he doesn't have a dash. It feels so crappy that you only can get fear off like once per team fight. Like, it feels so unreliable. It's a 16 second cooldown. You really can only use it once. In a 16 second cooldown on a crowd control ability is pretty ridiculous, you know? Why not just play a Syndra? Because once she starts getting levels, the cooldown with CDR will go down to like... Less than 10 seconds. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, you dashed away from me, so you died because of that. Uh, I am not going to solo the dragon. I'll just wait for you guys to respawn and just get, like, priority somewhere. He isn't going for it, is it? I didn't see him broke you that way. Okay. We will get this eventually. Oh. Goodness. I did not know he was just burning his Hexaflash in that brush that entire time, man. <laughs> Ooh, huge chunk here, huge chunk.
What? I pressed my W, but it didn't go off. Weird. I, and then I just got CC to death. That's so unfortunate, man. I tried popping it so I could hit literally everybody, but... Because I was trying to also hit Fiddlesticks at the same time, so we at least have a chance at, like, maybe doing something, so... Think along. Oh, are, are you okay? Um... Oh my gosh, dude. Camille is such a ridiculous champion, man. Hmm, maybe I need a Zhonya's this game or something. Oh, nice pull. You guys might be able to get this kill unless he flashes away. Oh my god. Um, huh. Okay, get that guy. Very nice, guys. I really want to stop Fiddlesticks. If that is a possibility. I'm on fiddle stopping Fiddlesticks duty. Looks like he's not coming. Nice. Okay, cool. I just didn't want any chance of it being stolen there. Hmm, what if I just go Death Cap rather than Zonya's and just say, eh, I mean, I can just do something like this, I guess. I'm gonna somehow mess up these items, but whatever. Uh, let's put this on three. I don't know. Oh, that didn't land. Nice. Guess I'll fix top here. Wait. I thought Talon just literally ran top, no? He didn't even touch the wave, like a single bit of it? Nothing? Am I seeing things? Damn, did not get that. You know what? I'm not going to be able to rotate to that in time. You guys are maybe up a bit too far. Um, so, you guys are just going to get punished for it. See you guys later. my ult. And if I miss ult, then it's doomed. I'm gonna continue shoving. I'll leave now. Halfway to 16. Ocean Dragon's coming up. Yeah, my team was just really, really up far. If I started rotating to that, I would have never made it in time, so there's just no reason for me to go. Like, I... I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing top lane. Damn, I am so close to getting my thing. My ulti is going to be down for dragon. Oof. Not a good look. We really just need to stop the fiddlesticks, man. If we can just stop the fiddlesticks from ulting. Start the dragon, so he's stuck in the pit, then he gets slowed. Almost pulled, probably.
Dude. I thought that wasn't that bad of a fight, to be honest, going in. I thought it would go better for us. My bad, I guess. I guess we have to play slower, like we can only go on one target, which is the fiddlesticks. I am getting pretty close to 16. Maybe it will help out a little bit. I guess the only person we can go for is legit Fiddle, or maybe Ezreal is an issue as well. I don't know, that fight felt like it would be so good for us if, based off of the beginning fear. Oh well. We try. Okay. Kill that guy. I use uh, Bola Bear as like a gap closer, basically. More fighting going on. Goodness. Um. All right. My bad. Uh, let's go death cap next, so maybe I have enough AP to contribute more. Hopefully the game lasts long enough that I can actually finish it. I'm 16. I just... I'm fine with everybody else getting caught up by Fid. I could at least fear him, so it's only the ulti going off. Uh. Really need to play around this Baron. Uh, the dragon's not even up for a while, so we kind of need better vision control. I can't face check anything though. It's just too risky. Don't really have anything. They could be on it right now, but oh, okay, we we blue trinketed it. Now we know they're not. Got a fear off on Ezreal, not that it really matters that much though. I'm trying to do damage here to a lot of people, but it's not really working out that well. Oh, Graves, right here. Nice, okay. Nice kills. It honestly, listen, it's it looks like we might need more items on some players here, so that's not that bad, because I guess we're losing. Like, maybe Lucian needs more armor pen before he can contribute, so it's good that we, like, didn't just lose the game off that fight, and it was, like, at, at least a little bit even. At least we have a chance at maybe winning. Because we're still too far behind to, I guess, do much. I went in because as soon as I saw I had fear ready and Fiddlesticks was there, I just was like, all right, well, time to go, I guess. Because at least maybe I can kill him before Zanyas. The guy has a Banshees and a Zanyas, by the way. Like, it's just, like, so much defensive, proccing the Banshees and then having to go in and just hoping that he doesn't Zanyas to stop my damage. Getting closer to that death cap as well. Still literally no damage, man. Man, I'm not gonna have death cap for this fight. Huh. That sucks.
they use Fiddlesticks ulti and Talon ulti. Is it enough? Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Nice. Okay. Good job, guys. My Zhonya's was down for that fight for like 10 more seconds. Okay, chasing this Talon, is it possible to kill? Looks like he might try to outplay you here. Oh, he's definitely gone. Jump, jump. Okay, cool. We have our death cap. We can contribute a little bit more now. Oh! Never mind about being gone, by the way. Good job. Wait, Talon's dead for 40 seconds. We can go. We can do a 4v5 without Talon being there. I think Ezreal's the biggest problem, but honestly, landing my ulti on him is maybe even harder than landing on Fiddle 6, depending on if he saves the V and is aware about knowing that if I land on him, he's dead, so. Run towards the Baron. We need to stop it early, because what's going to happen is that they're going to come over the wall. We for sure need to stop them. Uh, I guess we're just doing it. Okay, nice. Never mind. Don't even need to stop them. Let's go. What? This is not legal. Oh, cool. Well, I guess I should just Zonius preemptively. I don't even have a chance at... I knew Fiddlesticks would maybe ulti, but I figured that maybe I could survive. I, I guess through a full combo, but I don't even have a chance to press Zonius. The fear plus silence is just too long. Bummer. It's still worth it, for sure. Like, what I did, but... Ugh, I guess I just literally Zhonya's... Knowing Fiddlesticks is gonna ulti there. Because I do, like, have that in the back of my head. It might look super troll. <laughs> and there's maybe a chance that he doesn't. But it's way better than me dying. It would be very, like, uh... Smart. Use Zhonya's, and if you don't get ultied, sure, you look super stupid, but... You know. You know why you use Anya there. Because you have a feeling. It's literally the only way to survive, basically. Well, I guess we'll just go Void Staff last. We're one dragon away from Sold Point if we want to just go for that. But honestly, I think that we might be able to do a bit more. <clears throat> Are they just pushing it down mid? This five man grouping? The chance that Talon and whoever going this direction. I am quite uncomfortable with uh Looking to fight with Fog of War, the Fiddle Six will carry the game. Wow. Ezreal. Okay, man. As much as I want to just go ham, ulti the Ezreal and just go in, I'll probably just get CC'd before I can even cast my spells, so probably shouldn't do that. God. Okay, landed it. Nezreal went way too deep there. Anyways, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed the Vex commentary. Uh, with whatever elo this is, man. I, I have no idea. I guess I can check after. Um, just for fun. I let this account decay all the way from, I'm pretty sure Grandmaster, all the way down to Plat. But the MMR stays, like, basically the same. So, honestly, I'm pretty sure it should be the same.
I'm guessing my damage is okay this game. Maybe not highest, but still pretty high, right? Oh, actually highest, nice. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the Vex commentary. Still think that the champion's not really the best. But if you liked it, drop a like on the video, and I will see you guys next time. Diamond 1, Diamond 1, so I guess it's all Diamond 1 then. This full Diamond Lobby. Well, Diamond 1 Lobby, I guess. Low Diamond and High Diamond are a little bit different. That guy's a smurf. That guy's also a smurf. Or, like, he'd let himself decay. Anyways, once again, hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time.